I am at Kickapoo State Recreation Area in Southern Illinois. I'm on my way to Brown County, but somebody said to stop off here and check it out. So I'm here, no idea what to expect. Unfortunately, no e-bikes allowed here. So I'm gonna be back on the ISO uh, ride in. Hopefully my fitness will hang out and let's check out the trails. All right. Heading off from the parking lot. Start out with a track from the parking lot. It's been a while since I rode this bike, since I got the e-bike. Wow, it feels so different. Definitely a lot slower. <laughs> Hopefully I won't suck too bad. So we're just gonna start on trail two. Green rated trail as we head out into the system. One way, starts with a little climb. Not too bad to warm yourself up on. Trails ridden sight unseen. I've never been here before. Oh, it's a place for jumpers. I'm not much of a jumper, as I've told you many times, so we'll see how I could do. Um, okay, a little downhill. We have an uphill climb coming out of the ravine. This is why I miss my e-bike. It gets the heart going. I should just double check where I am. Still on the green, uh, the green trail too. Okay, this is green. What is the blue blacks like? Much of the trail is a classic Midwest tight single track. Uh, this one appears to be on the sandier side. All right, trail three. Here we changed to trail three from trail two. This technically changes from a green to a blue. I wonder why that installs. Bigger jumps, perhaps? Let's see. There's not much elevation change so far. What there is, is dropping in and out of ravines. Certainly, driving here, the Illinois countryside looked very flat in approach. That shouldn't have been very tricky, but got to it at a poor angle. Oh, oh, oh. So I've hopped off that drop straight into a <laughs> straight into a low-hanging branch. So that was a bit of a climb. Really not much gain, but still climbing now. Speed steady picks up as we start the descent again. And we're on the opposite side of the ravine. This is all very smooth. This blue trail has less technicality than the green. Course marking. Some nice little rooty ledges. <laughs> I 
We're pulling back out. Oh, it snuck up on me. <laughs> we started to uh, descend slightly and I wasn't paying attention. And around here, if you're not paying attention, the descent is over before you realise it. So hopefully this comes out on video okay. It's getting a little late in the day, getting a little dark. As I started heading down here earlier in the morning, almost got to Indiana. I realised I left my computer at home and I absolutely needed my computer. So I turned around, headed back to get it, and that was an hour and a half return. And then when I started coming back down again, I got into all the weekend getaway traffic from Chicago. Two hours to get back to where I was when I turned around. My morning drive to get here took three and a half hours longer than expected. And then from here, I've still got a couple of hours to head to Brown County. Oh, come on, check what that sign says. So, difficult is down there. Let's we'll see where Trail Fork says we are. I feel like that should be tried, but I should probably stick to Trail 4. Oh, and by the way, I'm on Trail 4 now. <sighs> At some point, we're from Trail 3 to Trail 4. I'm not sure the signage is all that great, or perhaps I'm just missing it. So we're kind of just at the top of a bluff here, looking down into ponds, a lake, a river, I'm not sure. But that's off to the side there. So I think this is called Kickapoo State Recreation Area. Essentially there's a conservancy here to protect the area. I think as part of that, they may have some outdated rules. They don't allow any e-bikes here. Probably got long-held rules stating no motors of any kind. You need just your leg-powered. Of course an e-bike is leg-powered, but it doesn't go unless you're pedaling. So this is a, a very cross-country course from what I'm seeing. I feel so slow. Well, I am slow. If you want to see me go fast, now I'm in my 50s, check out the videos with my Orbea rides. If you haven't come across my channel before, hi, my name's Kerry, I'm 52. I used to live in Colorado, but when I moved to the Midwest, I bought a van, I turned 50, and so decided, well, if I'm not gonna live in the mountains anymore, I might as well try to set a goal to bike all 50 states in my 50s. So I'm up to, I don't know, 12 states so far, and uh, got eight years to go, or seven, seven-ish. We'll see how it comes along. Feel free, come along for the ride. I try to give you first-hand reviews on what I think of trails. I don't tend to ride a trail twice, so everything is usually sight unseen, which is kind of like what you'd have if you're heading out for a vacation trip. And my videos give you some idea on what to expect. Okay, so that must be loop five. Uh, at this point, I don't know if this is supposed to be a green or a blue. I found the green to have more features on it than any of the blues so far. So I don't know. I want to ask you a question. I haven't posted much video content of rides in like Wisconsin or Midwest so far, because frankly, I feel challenged on how to make these entertaining. It's much harder to spice up a cross-country trail when you're not doing five mile, 1500 foot descents, where you've got epic scenery. This is trees. You get a lot of trees and a lot of turning around trees. <laughs> if you like trees, this is the place to be. So please let me know in the comments what can I do to make this more entertaining? Definitely beyond me waffling along like this. I know I need to make these short. Nobody wants to look through minutes and minutes and minutes of riding rounding effectively zigs and zags and twists and turns. Dark. These trees are very dense. It gets dark long before sundown. So 
so that's loop five. Oh, look at what we found. I don't know what PL is. Playground loop. Oh, okay. Let's check out the playground loop. Okay. Interesting stuff. So I guess we climb up. So the signs, assuming you know the trail names. PL equals playground loop. Tree gate. I don't get much air, but I get some. Climb back up. Ooh. Oh, that's not too bad. Actually, let me see these. Oh, that's okay. I didn't know what I was getting into. Okay, I should probably head out of the playground beginning to get fairly dark. Actually, I'm going to do one more loop. That was a full loop for the playground loop. Full lap. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Too slow into it. Let's see what we got. That's kind of interesting. There we go. That's better. <laughs> I can do that. Is that actually supposed to be a seesaw? I don't know. If that's a seesaw. That's the sketchiest sea sea seashore sea I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Seesaw. A seesaw by the sea shore. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, let's carry on riding. That was unexpected. <laughs> Little boom. Much of uh, Trail 5's been like this. What is S? Trail 6 and S. There's a lot here in terms of Trail 10 and stuff. I'm probably going to have to skip that. But uh, let me try Trail 6 and see about the black trail that comes off it. Heaven and Hell. Heaven and Hell. Let's see what we got. Oh, 
Okay, I could have taken the inside line there. That would have been better. Again, this is sight unseen. Didn't know what I was getting into there. I should have just rolled it at speed and it would have been fine. This could be tricky, a bit loose. Yeah, we can make it up. <laughs> that sun is getting low. Well, we'll continue on this way. We'll continue on heaven and hell. Start the climb back up. Nice ride in on the side of the hill. Get a little bit of bench cut exposure. It's not much though, it's pretty easy. This would be a lot of fun on my rise. And we're back at the top. And back onto trail six. We're gonna go down trail six a little way and pick up a trail called, another black trail called Super D Bailout. And then pick up another black. And gradually wind our way back to the car because it's getting dark in here. jump more jumps nothing particularly big that's trail seven that must be the super d trail bailout okay let's see what this is like this one's not really marked on the uh, trails so. bunch of uh, jumps uh, that was it let's take a look at the scenery not too bad so we're gonna climb back up Okay, this is trail seven, but I'm beginning to think it might be getting too dark to see on video. This is not sketchy at all. Descending an unknown trail in twilight. Deer, hello deer. The old deer scared them away. <laughs> oh, almost taken out by, I don't know what, a squirrel? Chipmunk? No, that's way too big, squirrel. Trail 7's not too bad. Yes, it's cross country, but it's got some good downward flow. With some climbs in between. So dark. The sun has now dropped behind the hill. I should probably find my way out of here. We're on trail 8, and supposedly trail 8's a black diamond. So this one's more rooty. Who'd have thought it? Pushing uphill in Illinois. Oh, 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 come on, come on, you can do it. Yes. This one requires a bit of power. In these short 
punchy climbs. Oh yeah, that was fun. That was more my kind of thing. So we're gonna head along the road just for a sec. So it's getting dark, but we're gonna take trail nine back to the lot. Trail nine follows the road, except it's single track through trees. This is a blue trail. <laughs> I can't see a thing. Whoa, this is so sketchy. It's a good thing. The uh, trail is a sandy trail. The whiteness of it stands out against the foliage. And that was trail nine. And we are back at the van. So it's got late and I've run out of light. Uh, <laughs> Arriving here three and a half hours late did not help. Uh, but So I, I missed a bunch of trails here on the uh, greens and some of Loop 10. But hopefully I gave you a view as to what Kickapoo has. Certainly hit the blacks and some of the more interesting blues here. Um, all of it is very cross country, but there's little features here and there that for you to find. Perhaps there's more. If you know, if you're local and you've ridden here, uh, what's trail 10 like? What did I miss? The, the whole like trail 14, the greens on that side. Are there little features for, you know, uh, beginner riders to go find? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what I missed and hope you enjoyed this uh, exploratory view of Kickaboo uh, State Conservation Area and I'll see you on another trail.